Hello YouTube. So, Hoyo has officially revealed the stats and effects of the two new artifact sets coming in patch 4.3, that I'm here to provide you with the math on how good or bad they are. Let's jump right into this. Starting with the Geo set, the 2 piece gives 18% attack, and the 4 piece gives 20% Geo damage bonus, after using your elemental skill. If protected by a crystallized shield, this goes up to 50%. And that additional 30% geo damage bonus is lost one second after no longer having a crystallized shield. So it's pretty obvious that this is meant to be a meant to be Navia's signature set, and will probably be her best set. 18% attack and 50% damage bonus is a lot of stats. Until Navia is out and we know her numbers and rotations and all that stuff, I can't calculate exactly how important it will be for her to have this set. So let's look at some other Geo characters for now. Now, starting with Albedo, I calculated this set on him, assuming you are using him in a team where he actually wants to use his burst, since otherwise there would be no reason to consider this set on him over a Husk or Golden Troop. Based on what we've seen from Navia in the 4.3 trailer and knowing that her set is a Geo set with attack percent, I'm assuming she's going to be an attack focused Geo DPS, sort of like Ningguang. So for Albedo here, I've calculated him buffed by Geo Resonance, Bennett, and Farina. Theoretically, assuming that this is a, a team Navia might use with Albedo as the fourth slot. With this, I gave Albedo nine hits of his skill and four fatal, fatal blossoms from his burst. And out of curiosity, I also checked the math with both Cinnabar Spindle and with Wolf Fang to see how that changes things. So with Wolf Fang. Husk is still Albedo's set, but the difference is only about 2% in favor of Husk. Although in this type of team with Albedo's burst being used, Golden Troop is a bit behind the Whisper set. And with Cinnabar Spin Spindle, since it gives Albedo so much defense, damage bonus gains value over defense, so Whisper is now only about 1% behind Husk, and Golden Troop also caught up a, a lot as well. The only reason it's behind is because it doesn't buff his burst at all. So in a team such as this, while Albedo's burst is actually used, the new Whisper set should be Albedo's second best set, making for a very nice side grade to Husk, which you might pick up anyway while farming the new domain for Navia. Also something nice with this set is that Albedo snapshots, so even if you lose Crystallize, he's going to maintain the 50% Geo damage bonus. Next, I have Zhongli. I calculated him in the exact same team scenario as Albedo, just with him in Albedo's spot. For this, I assume that you actually get to and want to use Zhongli's burst in the rotation, and use him on HP Sensing Goblet since you still don't want his shield to break, but a crit circlet. They also have him on Favonius Lance since it's Zhongli, and you probably want him on Favonius to support the team better. As we can see, with Zhongli getting his burst buffed a good amount by Bennett and Farina plus Geo Resonance, the Whisper set is actually a pretty large upgrade over Emblem and 2 piece 2 piece options for his damage. If you were to build him purely for damage and trust his shield to still be strong enough, on an attack Geo crit build with a DPS poem like Deathmatch or Staff of Homa, then he would actually be able to do some solid sub DPS damage. But if you are using him on HP main stats and Favonius like I have here, then his damage likely won't be worth using the set on over just using Tenacity to buff the team, although Tenacity can be unreliable on Zhongli. Now the next character I calculated this set on is one that you might not expect, that being Ito. In Ito's traditional 4 Geo team, you won't actually be able to get the 50% Geo damage bonus from this set since there is no Crystallize. So if you are using 4 Geo Ito, then stick with Husk. However, if you theoretically could get Crystallize, because Ito already has so much defense and not nearly as much damage bonus, the Whisper set would actually be about a 2% upgrade over Husk. Although Husk will likely be more consistent, also it's worth keeping in mind that the 54% defense from Husk is going to make you take a lot less damage compared to Whispers, so keep that in mind. And the last 5 star unit I calculated this set on is Geo Traveler. With Geo Traveler, I have him calculated in the same setup as Albedo and Zhongli, with Geo Resonance, Bennett, and Farina. 
However, I have Geo Traveler only using this skill once in the rotation. If you can fit in more than one skill, then the damage would go up. I also have them on Favonius, assuming that you need it for energy. But if you don't, then the damage will be much higher with something like Wolf Fang or Finale of the Deep instead. And as we can see from the math, it's a no contest. Whisper is easily Geo Traveler's new best set. Now next we have Ningguang. For Ningguang, I once again I assumed the same setup with Geo Resonance, Bennett, and Farina. I have her on an R5 flowing purity and assumed she is C6 and does her quick swap combo with EQECA. And surprisingly, I actually got the Hunter set being about 4% better than Whisper. But the Whisper set is good enough to be a good side grade still. Plus, if you play Ningguang without Farina, the Whisper set will easily be her best set since you wouldn't be able to use the Hunter set. And lastly, I calculated the set on Noel using a team of Noel, Goro, Albedo, Farina. And Noel using Redhorn. The problem with using the Whisper set on Noel is the buff procs by using your elemental skill and it lasts 10 seconds. Noel's Skill cooldown is much longer than that, so if you use her for longer than 10 seconds, she isn't going to get full uptime on the 50% damage bonus. This causes the Hunter set and Husk set both to be a lot better than Whispers on her. So with Noel, I would definitely advise against using this set. Now that covers all the Geo character is worth calculating this set on, so let's take a look at the healer set, the healing set now. This set, Song of Days Past, is a giant wall of text, but from what I am understanding, basically what it does is, after the character willing the set heals, the set will record all healing done for the next 6 seconds, counting overflow healing, and it can record up to 15k. Once the 6 second duration is over, your character gets a base damage buff of 8% of the recorded healing, which would be 1200 base damage, assuming you recorded 15k healing. The buff will last for 5 hits, then, once the buff is removed, you get healed again. It will record the healing over the next 6 seconds again, buff 5 hits, rinse and repeat. I really hope I am understanding how this set works wrong, because that is terrible. This would mean that, for characters that are on field for around, say, 12 seconds for example, they would only get 10 hits buffed, possibly only 5. And only characters with really long field times such as Sino would ever get the buff more than twice in a rotation. On top of that, because the buff specifies that it lasts for 5 hits, then this is likely going to have the same problem as other base damage buffers like Yunjin and Shenhe, in which hitting more than one enemy counts towards losing multiple stacks, yet you only get the damage of one stack for this. So if you are hitting two enemies, you would only be getting the buff on like 3 hits instead of 5. Most healers already have good sets they can use like Noblesse, VV, or even Ocean Healed Clam. There's pretty much only one scenario where I could see this set possibly being an upgrade, and the first scenario was on Baizu and a Quick Bloom Sino team. Baizu's healing will easily max out the buff each time, and Sino has long fill time with a lot of fast hits to quickly use the buff. However, even here, the set was actually a slight downgrade compared to Ocean Hued Clam. And unlike this song set, Ocean Hued Clam actually scales up in AoE since it deals AoE damage, while the song set loses damage in AoE. So I really don't think there is ever any reason to use the set on anyone, unless I'm com understanding how the set works completely wrong. And yeah, that's about all I have to say for today. If you liked today's video, please be sure to give a like and subscribe, and also leave a comment letting me know your thoughts. Thanks. Bye.